The next big one that I would want to emphasize would be sequences. So we're talking about arithmetic and geometric sequences. And you have a starting number and you're doing something to that number and you're doing it n minus one times. So now arithmetic sequences are where you're adding, geometric sequences are where you're multiplying. So an arithmetic sequence would be something like 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, and so on. A geometric sequence would be something like 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, and so on. So here we're adding 3, and here we are multiplying by 2. So the formulas you need to know. For the arithmetic, the number you're looking for is equal to the first number plus the thing you're adding, and you're adding it n minus 1 times. For the geometric, you have the starting number, but you're multiplying by something n minus 1 times. So what does D stand for? It's the common difference. It gets at the idea that the thing you're adding, you could figure it out by subtracting. If I wanted to know what we were, subtract, what we were adding here, you know, if it were a harder thing to figure out, I would say 17 minus 14. So when you're adding, you subtract to figure out. That's why the thing that you're adding is called the common difference. Similarly, when you're multiplying, the thing that you're multiplying is called the common ratio. Because if I wanted to know what we were multiplying by, I would take the 80 and 40 and divide them. And division is kind of like a ratio. So the common ratio is the thing that you're multiplying by. And you need to know both of these formulas in order to, to handle lots of questions. So for instance, I might get this sequence here that we have in pink. And the question might say, well, what is the 98th term of that? So what's the 98th term? A98 is equal to A1, the first term, 5, plus the thing that we're adding, 3, n minus 1 times. So 98 minus 1. n is the number of the term you're talking about. So 97 times. So 98 minus 1. And so that's whatever you get for 5 plus 3 times 97. And that comes out to 296. So the, 200, the 98th term of the sequence that I just highlighted in pink there is actually 296. And one last thing to add to our conversation about sequences for the arithmetic sequence, the arithmetic sequence, is that the sum of n numbers is n over 2 a1 plus a n. So for instance, if I wanted the sum of the first 98 terms, that would be 98 over 2, 3 plus 296. And whatever that simplifies to, that would be the sum of the first 98 terms.